morning, so today the plan is to go to Durham for an afternoon tea service. I am currently writing a report for my assignment in university on like the best afternoon tea places in the North East. And this place I'm going to today, Crook Hall it's called, was one of the features and I got asked to go back and try the afternoon tea. So that's where I'm going today, I'll show you what it all looks like and let you know what I think. So we've just sat down in Crook Hall, ready to start our afternoon tea. We've just started with our elderflower cocktails here. On Crook Hall's standard afternoon tea menu, you get a red Leicester and pickle sandwich, a cucumber sandwich, a ham and mustard sandwich, smoked salmon and cream cheese, and a plain skull with jam and cream as well as your cakes, which are a chocolate brownie, raspberry and white chocolate truffle, a Victoria sponge and lemon lavender cake, as well as a carrot cake. Your drink choices are a glass of Prosecco or a glass of non-alcoholic elderflower fizz, in addition to unlimited tea or coffee. Okay, so here we've got the cheese on your quiche. I have bruschetta and hummus with some red pepper and then some honey mustard sausages. One thing that's a little different about Crook Hall and Gardens is the fact that it's a still lived in family home. This is how the tea is presented. All the cakes are on the top plate and then the scones and then the sandwiches. The majority of the ingredients are all homemade and the scones taste pretty much like sharp bread. I've tasted nothing like them. They're absolutely incredible. Hi, so we've just finished our afternoon tea. I'm just going to show you around because the gardens are absolutely stunning here and I would 100% recommend coming to view if you are around Durham or planning a trip at some point. So here is what it looks like just outside the halls where you actually sit down to eat your afternoon tea. There's quite a lot of outdoor seating, so this place would be absolutely lovely in the summer just to sit and chill with your friends, really. When you first enter the gardens, you'll see a maze, which is a small maze, but it's really cute and it's a nice little bit of personality for the gardens. The gardens are also a really popular location for weddings as there's a lot of picturesque spots that are just absolutely perfect for anyone who wants wedding photos. One of my favourite parts in the garden is this little fence where loads of couples who have visited have left little locks with their anniversary, their names on, or anything meaningful to them. This is the Shakespeare Garden and it's another one of my favourites as it's said to really blossom when the summer comes. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you would like to read my journalistic piece on the 8 best avenue teas in the North East, I'll leave the link in the description box below.